Hello everyone and welcome to my Coronation Street official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Sarah Platt has made some awful choices in men over the years, but actress Tina O'Brien believes that one of her Coronation Street character's lovers was worse than the rest. Sarah is currently involved in a fast-moving romance with local bad boy Damon Hay, much to the dismay of her ex-husband Adam Barlow. Though Damon has done some horrible things in his life, one of which is bullying his own kid out of Weatherfield, one of Sarah's ex-partners wins the prize for the worst of them all in Tina's novel. Sarah began dating drug dealer Callum Logan in 2015, despite her family's cautions about him. It wasn't until she found Callum was using her daughter, Bethany Platt, as a drug mule that she was finally done with him. This was probably her worst ever choice of men, Tina exposed. She did say, I know what you're doing, and I know exactly why you're pursuing me. You want to stick it to David, and you believe that flirting with me will wind him up, which it did. Obviously, he was Kelly's ex, but Sarah had been in Milan and didn't expect to stay long. She decided to have fun, have a fling, and leave in a week. She knew he was a horrible boy, and she trusted her brother enough to realize he was an idiot, but she couldn't stop herself from being enticed by him. I believe the fact that she was irritating David also had an appeal, a case of don't tell me who I can and can't mess around with. Sarah's situation took a drastic turn when Callum attacked her during a 2015 lie show, but she was happily saved by Kelly Platt, Paula Lane, who killed Callum in Sarah's defense. She didn't intend for it to escalate, but it did, and Callum died in the live episode. I recall having a meeting with producer Stuart Blackburn, who sat us down to explain the idea and when it would go live. I was like, wow, I was strangely excited but not nervous. If someone told me that now, I'd be terrified, but that could be because I've seen how terrible a live episode can be. It was an incredible ending for Callum, given how nasty the character had been. It was also really interesting to play out the consequences of that. How Sarah did not cope well mentally, how David became extremely cruel, and how Killy became very compassionate for Sarah. It altered the dynamic in all of their interactions. With Sarah's dating past, are things going to be as horrible with her current lover Damon? Tina, like many viewers, is fearful of the worse. Damon has Sarah hooked, he isn't a pushover, they have a lot of banter, and she isn't allowed to grow too big for her boots, but she appreciates his sort of old-school charm. She likes how he's cheeky with her and makes her laugh a lot. Perhaps that's been missing in her life for a long. She values the relationship's lightheartedness and the laughing they share. Sadly, given her past and choices, I'd be astonished if things don't go wrong in some way. Damon has that history, that shady background, and Adam is so keen on splitting them up and getting Damon out of the picture, I'm not sure they stand a chance. I have a terrible feeling she is about to get her heart destroyed all over again. Daisy Midgley has had every cause to have a face like a wet Manchester Saturday following the last few months of upheaval but that changes in Coronation Street next week, as our new spoiler video reveals. Her frown is turned upside down when her on-slash-off love interest Rain Connor reappears, with Ryan Prescott returning his popular role after a long absence from the cobbles. The actor had previously assured fans that he would return, but Daisy had almost given up hope of seeing him again. Daisy and Ryan have been inextricably linked since a horrific acid attack threw their lives into shambles. Daisy was set to marry Daniel Osborne, but her relationship with Ryan became into something more, and her groom-to-be found that they had slept together. Bethany Platt's return to ex Daniel adds a complication to the situation. In upcoming episodes, a journalist in waiting exposes Daisy's shady relationship with Ryan. Daisy will be laying unhappily on the sofa next Friday, telling an impatient Jenny Connor that she does not want to discuss before raving about Bethany. 
Jenny gives up trying to deliver the news of Daisy's guest and lets Ryan do the talking, in the classic sitcom scenario of I've got something to tell you, leading to numerous interruptions. Miss me, he inquired, and many a Corey fan will nod fervently. Daisy is even happier, as her grin reveals, and they have a lot of catching up to do. So what drew Ryan back? What happened to his relationship and new life with Crystal? There is certainly still a spark between him and Daisy, so will they give it a try? Daisy has a busy old episode, as she exacts her revenge on Bethany, scamming her employer and gets her fired. However, actress Charlotte Jordan argues that Daisy's objective isn't to get her competitor fired, though she does take some delight in giving some just desserts. She argues that all of her earlier judgments about Bethany are correct, but Charlotte isn't ruling out a future burying of the hatchet between the two. Daisy is simply excited to have Ryan back and what it may lead to. Daisy genuinely feels Ryan is living his best life in Glassville and is happy with Crystal, so I think this will be a huge shock to her system, she said. Daisy feels very lonely, especially from Daniel now that Bethany has returned and losing Ryan to Crystal has made her even more isolated. I believe Ryan will be welcomed back into Daisy's life with open arms. I'm not sure how nutritious it is, but I believe they should try it so that they can realize it may not be as healthy as they think, or it may be. I'd want to see them try it and see what happens. Tracy McDonald is expected to finally reveal her extramarital romance with Tommy Orpington on Coronation Street next week. Tracy first met the retired Weatherfield County player on Christmas Day, when she discovered he was now working as a painter and decorator. As Tommy worked on beautifying Tracy and Steve's, Simon Gregson, bedroom, she began flirting with him, and it wasn't long before they performed the dirty deed. Steve was blissfully oblivious that his wife was playing away from home with his football hero, and following a trip to France to his daughter Emma, he resolved to make an extra effort to restore the spark in his marriage. While assisting Kid Gav Aditibo with his new window cleaning round, Tim Metcalf discovered Tracy having some lunchtime fun. Rushing home to tell his wife, Sally, what he had seen, she was taken aback after watching Steve drive for streetcars all day. In following scenes, Tim will reveal to Tracy that he is aware of the affair after duping her into confessing it but he insists that it is her job to inform doting Steve. Returning to know, one with dread, she is stunned when he gets down on one knee and suggests that they renew their vows, and Tracy says yes. Steve, overjoyed that their relationship is back on track, grins to Tim about the renewal. But will Tim's remorse overcome him, and will he reveal what he has discovered? In upcoming scenes, Tim will confess to Tracy that he knows about the affair after tricking her into admitting it, but asserts that it is her responsibility to break the news to doting Steve. Returning back to No, one with a sense of dread, she's dumbfounded when he gets down on one knee and proposes that they renew their vows, and Tracy says yes. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.